Let the good times roll. Don't go getting a swelled head after all this. You still work for me, bright boy. You mean I still gotta keep cleaning up your messes? Abso-fucking-lutely. That Trishel's a good kid. Hold on to that one. I'm planning on it. Congratulations. You earned this. You mean I don't need to stand out there like a tin soldier no more? Yeah. Now you can kick the ass of the next kid in line. I heard you had some trouble at the docks. Nearly got jumped. Nothing I couldn't handle. Beginner's luck, believe you me. I gotta ask you, Tone, about my father. Yeah, I was thinking about him, too. What'd he think, seeing you here? Is he really dead? Like, you know, some people think? He took a fucking oath, same one you're about to take, and then he violated that oath. End of story. I just thought that maybe, you know, he had no good choices, no way out, you know? Or something. Let it go, kid. I know you ain't your father. Oh, one more thing. Look, there's no names in the back now. These people are long gone, thanks to you. So this is yours. Be inside. Hey, Joey. I'm happy for you, son. In fact, I'm proud as a fuck. It's too bad you can't be here. Hey. I had my run. Now it's your turn. So, me working for Tony, you don't mind? Hey. I wish things were different, but you working with my best friends on Earth? Like a fucking dream come true. I thought... You might be bitter. Bitter? <laughs> no, no, no. Just forget about it. Go enjoy yourself. Hey, Joey! How long are we gonna wait? Do you know that this family of ours is a secret society. Yes, I do. And would you give up anything for this thing of ours? This Cosa Nostra? Yes, I will. Which finger is your trigger finger? You must never betray our secrets. If the boss sends for you, you go, no matter what. You can never break this circle. You can never raise your hand against another member. All these things mean death. If I violate this code, may my soul burn in hell. Se nata oggi, qualunque problema hai, torgi in poi, non preco parte ne più. You understand? Yes. Welcome to the family. About fucking time. Finally. Thanks, T. Maybe T wasn't wrong after all. Oh, listen to him. Bajan. Well done. Crap, I'm late. Forgive me, please. You don't turn down an offer to become a soldado. A soldier, kid. That's what it's all about. You become a made man and part of our family forever. The Don himself may even perform the ceremony. Hey, hey, don't worry, son. It won't hurt a bit.
There is nothing more important to a man than his family. These men, these men of honor, they too are my family. La familia Corleone. I now invite you to be reborn as one of us. Yes, Godfather. You are now one of our qualified men. Do you owe me any qualification? Please, introduce yourself to your brothers. Hey, Atsha. Good for you, kid. You're done. Glad you're on our side. Don Corleone is out of the hospital. There are men in this world who go about demanding to be killed. You must have noticed them. They quarrel in gambling games. They jump out of their automobiles in a rage. They humiliate and bully people whose capabilities they do not know. These are people who wander through the world shouting, kill me. There's always somebody ready to oblige them. Where's Monk? I'm surprised he would miss this. Monk ain't allowed in. He can't witness the ceremony or become a made man. Why is that? He's such a loyal associate. It don't matter. He's half Irish. Unless you're full Sicilian, you'll never be a true part of the family. Monk's father <laughs> is Irish. His mother's Italian. He'll never be a made man, no matter how badly he wants it. Monk might not like it, but you gotta be a full-blooded Sicilian to become a made man. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me, we're gonna be made. Oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I wanna talk to you about what's gonna happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this, but you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family, but I figured Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together, just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too, when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I... I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen, a society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family, or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. 
Show me which finger would pull the trigger. Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life. May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. Amico nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And it's you might wonder why I'd take this risk again after spending almost seven years in a can. You see, where I grew up, the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work. Too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. Kisses floating on the breeze. Act one, 